second. Ron Culpa at third with Ted Barrett on the left field line and Gary Cedarstrom on the right field line. Our first pitch coming up here at 7.05, 50 degrees in downtown St. Louis. Brought to you by Exergen Temporal Scanner Thermometer, which was recently reviewed by the New York Times. It's what doctors and nurses recommend. Fast, easy, and a great value. Pick up one for the family at Target and other fine retailers. Now for the first pitch of tonight's Game 7 of the World Series. The voice of the Cardinals, Mike Shannon. Thank you, John Rooney. This place is some kind of electric in the first pitch of the night. It's a breaking pitch high outside ball one that was a cutter or else a great moving fastball. And uh, the Cardinals have a. Uh, freeze at third he's uh, even with the bag for cows the shortstop Terry O uh, is the second baseman tonight Pujols at first. Craig's in left Schumacher's in center Berkman the right fielder and Molina does the catch. Garber to one in a new baseball he got it and he fires and it's a line shot into left field. And that's a base hit and a nice play by a Craig to uh, hold him to a single. The first inning has been a bugaboo for the Cardinal starter and it is uh, like that for most really good pitchers but especially for uh, Mr. Carpenter and uh, he got one up and Kinsler made him pay a sharp single to left and it brings in Elvis Andrews. I haven't seen these guys hit and run in this series yet with these two guys and I thought we'd see a lot more. I did too Mike know? because Washington likes the running game. He likes to hit and run. He loves he loves a lot of movement period. But it's hard to steal against the Carpenter. It has been and there goes the runner and the pitch is high and they got him picked off the first pitch. You can't believe it. He is out at first base as the runner started. That was Kinsler. He got about 25 30 feet out. And he stopped because it was the hit and run or the bunt and run and uh, the uh, batter faked the bunt took the pitch and Kinsler fell down the throw by Yachty picks him off. So that's how this crazy game starts man this has been some nutty series Yachty second pick off of the World Series. And now another pitch by Carpenter is outside and low and it's two and all. I mean we have seen some bizarre happenings haven't we John. Well we saw enough of it in seven eight innings of the game last night to last a whole season. Here's the two old pitch and it's a Steve right call. And it's two and one. Andrews didn't like that call from Jerry Lane. I don't think Andrews ever uh, liked the call that he saw. It's kind of like Ricky <laughs> Henderson he never met a strike he ever liked. <laughs> He was an all timer in the third person. Here's a delivery low outside. And it is three and one. The last time Carpenter pitched with a three days rest, he had trouble with his command. And he has a, that in the first inning to this point. The three one pitch. He walked him. So a leadoff single. Uh, now a walk. Uh, they picked off Kinsler. And uh, Carpenter shaking his head as he walks back on top. And he walks. A good 10 feet off of the mound towards second base before he comes back on top and it's Josh Hamilton and we talked about this guy last night he's looking better and better at the plate and uh, he's running a lot better. Those manager Ron Washington has been taking a lot of grief for staying with Hamilton in the number three spot mm -hmm. through all of the injury troubles. Here's a pitch outside. Let me tell you something when you have a guy of this caliber caliber and he wants to play you play him. I don't care. You can say what you want to say. But this guy is a tremendous performer and uh, him at 60 percent might be better than anyone else you have at 100 the pitch and he uh, pops it foul into the seats off to the left out of play and that'll leave him the count one and one. Well he suffered with the groin problem and and that is an issue that's bothering Nelson Cruz their right fielder. He had to come out of the game last night and I just wonder how Napoli is going to be able to move around after turning the ankle at second base last night. And they have uh, Cruz back in the lineup and he has uh, been bothered by a groin. And the pitch and the runner goes and a base hit the right field. Yeah, they might score the runner all the way from first. He will score as it is one nothing for Texas on an RBI double by Hamilton. They were playing Hamilton so far over into a right center that Berkman by the time he got to the line and the ball was a good 20 feet off of the line. When he got to it, and the runner still scored from uh, first base without a play. 
Well there's your running game we talked about. That's right. I see one thing they haven't stopped. No and they're not going to Mike. No. They're an offensive ball club. And uh, let's talk about uh, Hamilton again. He is getting better and better. We noticed it last night. He is some dangerous threat. And he uh, drives in the first run of this game. An RBI double. And once again Carpenter misses high. He has struggled big time. In the first inning. In his postseason uh, games. His uh, earned run average in the first inning is uh, seven. Here's a pop down the right field line. This is going to drop in. It's going to be another uh, RBI and it's two nothing for Texas and then the second base is a young two to nothing. Another double and the score uh, Hamilton. You can take all these figures and probably throw them out because uh, when you have a game seven everything is on the line. Here's a little fly ball down the right field line and uh, it goes for a double and it's quickly two to nothing. We still only have one out and that was a pick off. So all four men have reached safely. And now number five is a uh, belt Bray, and he's homered off of uh, the Cardinal right hand and he throws him a cutter and he throws it inside and it breaks over the inside corner and it's a strike call. Well Belt Ray homered on a curveball that was in and breaking down. It was down but he and went down on a right knee and he hit it a ton over the left field board. Here's the old one and he taps it foul quickly over the two. Well the Rangers have done what they had to do Mike after last night's game got come away from smoking. them come exactly. out and score a couple of runs and they'd like to pick up Michael Young from second base here with one out. And uh, we'll say this if you can get Beltre and Cruz and get out of this first inning with only two scoring the momentum momentum will go Cardinal away the pitch swing and a miss stuck him out on a pitch way outside a breaking ball. And that's the second out that brings in Cruz. You agree with me. Oh, I agree Mike. This? Kind of like last night. Where the Rangers right. were able to get on the board first, and then the Cardinals answered with a two run homer from Berkman. And uh, standing in is Nelson Cruz. He left the game last night with the groin problem. He's back in there tonight as a starter. 29 home runs during the regular season. He's 5 for 21 in this series with two homers and three runs batted in. And Carpenter's pitch to uh, the right handed batter, and it's a beauty, a strike on the outside corner. Very good breaking ball. I'll tell you what, I think this guy gets as good a look at the pitchers as anybody we've seen in this seven game set. Well, he lets the ball get deep, Mike. He does. The 0 1 pitch now from Carpenter. Way outside, and low on it even is a count. One and one. Well, the Rangers come out with a bang. They've scored twice. And uh, Kinsler was uh, picked off after he had started for second and then fell down. Another far cruise. They're deep. They play him to pull and he swings and grounds it slowly to third. Tough play and a nice play by the Cardinal third baseman. Cruz throws him out. That was a tough play and uh, David made it look easy. So after a half inning, as the Cardinals come to bat, Texas leads two to nothing. Their starter tonight is uh, Matt Harrison. He's from North Carolina. He was born in Durham. Now lives uh, in uh, Creedmoor, uh, North Carolina. He's a 26-year-old, 6'4", 240 pounder, and he's an unusual cat. Well, the Cardinals got to him, Mike, in Game Three, a big game where the Cardinals scored 16 runs, and they were able to get six hits, five runs, four earned, three and two-thirds innings pitched by Matt Harrison. He absorbed the loss. And his team has already staked him to a 2 nothing advantage with Terry O'Craig and Albert Pools coming up in the bottom of the first. And uh, Terry O, the leadoff man uh, for the first time in uh, this postseason affair. And he faces the left-hander, Harrison. Uh, he winds and he fires, and it's a fastball high outside, ball one. That's the uh, book on this guy. He uh, usually is wild high at the start of a game. And the third baseman in on the grass in the 1 0. Terry O taking all the way, and it's in at the knees, and a strike called, and it's 1 and 1. Andrews at short, Kinsler at second, Young the first baseman, with Murphy in left, Hamilton in center, and Cruz the right fielder, and Napoli doing the catching, and a pitch high and outside, and it's 2 and 1. Seemed to slip off the uh, mound on that one. 
They give a Terry over the left field line. He's one for eight in this series with two runs batted in, and he swings and grounds it hard to the second baseman. And uh, Kinsler throws him out and one away. That's how the Cardinal first inning starts as Texas leads it and two to nothing. Here's uh, Alan Craig. When's the last time you visited the Magic House? St. Louis is uh, nat naturally acclaimed uh, children's museum. It's a beauty. I've been there numerous times. It offers hundreds of hands-on educational exhibits for the youngsters and for uh, you adults, including the Children's Village, the Star Spangled Center, and the Jack and the Beanstalk Climber. Find out what else you've been missing at ExploreStLouis.com. St. Louis, all within reach. We had Jim Jackson up that. Jack and the Beanstalk uh, climber, and we had to call the fire department to get him down. But he Here's, loved it. He highly <laughs> recommends it. Here's the first pitch, and it's out of the strike zone. Ball one for Alan Craig there, deep, and they give him the left field line. The pitch, it's an off-speed delivery, and it's in for a steer right call, and it's one and one. No strike one on, zone one uh, doesn't appear to be as tight for Harrison as it was for Carpenter. And the lefty uh, brings home the 1 1 for uh, Alan Craig. Swinging a pop up, it goes into right center. Over on the move, it's Hamilton, the center fielder, gloves it. 2 1. And it brings in Albert Pujols, who uh, in this series is a 6 for 23. Three homers, six runs better than He is 1 for 2 against this left hander, Matt Harrison. And a lifetime against this Texas outfit. He's had seven hits and 37 at bats, three of those home runs. He walks in there deep. They play him a step to pull in the outfield. Second baseman plays almost behind the second base bag in the pitch. It's up and in ball one. Two nothing, uh, Texas. And with no one on, uh, two outs, Albert uh, takes it upstairs, and it's 2-0, and, oh, and it's, uh, oh, it's clearly Harrison trying to overthrow that one. 94-mile-an-hour fastball. And the 2-0 pitch, Pujols looks at it way outside, and I mean at least a foot, maybe two feet outside. And on deck is Lance Burton, who's had a great series. Albert's probably swinging if he wants three and oh the delivery coming he's going to take and it's ball four outside and high and two out walk to uh, Pujols and it brings in Lance Berkman Berkman hitting 435 in this 2011 World Series with a homer and five runs batted in hit 31 home runs during the regular season he's one for five lifetime against this lefty and the crowd gets into it with their rally top. A lot of hitting room down the left field line as Berkman stands in from the right side. They uh, play him like a left handed pull hitter in the outfield, straight away on the infield. Although that second baseman, Kinsler, he likes to hug that bag. Must be his teddy bear. And it's a fastball low. You no, know, when you were a kid, you had a little blankie or a teddy bear or something you hug. He likes the second base bag, Kinsler. We'll call him, uh, that's his huggy. In the 1 0 pitch, Berkman half swing holds up. It's low and it's 2 0. Pujols stole nine bases during the regular season. He's held by a young, checked by a Harrison, and the 2 0 pitch. Bergman taking all the way, looks at high ball three. Three and all. Uh, do you think Lance is swinging three and all? The tying run uh, at the plate here in the uh, bottom of the first? You bet if he uh, likes it. Here it is. He's taking all the way, and it's a strike of beauty on the outside corner and at the knees. So far, a 15 pitch inning for Harrison, and he's allowed one base runner to walk by Pujols. And on a 3 1, Berkman takes it outside and low. Just missed. Ball four for the walk two. Never easy in this 2011 World Series, is it? No matter which team you're on, here comes the last 
last night's hero, David Fries, and here he is in a key spot again, John. And here comes the pitching coach, Mike Maddox. It didn't take him long to jump out of the dugout and make it to the mound. David Fries, the last couple of times up, a two-run triple to tie the game in the ninth inning with the Cardinals down to their last strike. And then a leadoff 3 2 pitch home run in the 11th to win it 10 to 9. So, uh, visit to the mound, the bet's completed. Back to the dugout goes the pitching coach, Mike Maddox. He's the brother of a future Hall of Famer, Greg Maddox. And it is freeze with runners at first and second, two on, two out. Bottom of the first, Texas leading two to nothing. Freeze is set. And the pitch is over, but low. And boy, the Cardinals got lucky on that call. That looked like a pretty good pitch. A fastball at 93 miles per, and Freeze took it for ball one. So he's back to squeezing this home plate umpire. Albert leads from second. Lance Berkman walks from first. Two on, two out. Cardinals down two nothing. First inning action, and uh, David Freeze takes a strike call. Good pitch. It's a fastball, and it tailed back in and caught quite a bit of the uh, plate. Evens the count one and one. Outfield uh, deep, infield deep, and boy, if he gets one into the left field corner, this game could be tied. Murphy's the left fielder. The 1 1 delivery. Here it comes. Inside. Two balls in the front. Matt Harrison, 26 year old left hander from uh, North Carolina, gets his sign after a long look. He's ready, and here's the 2 1 pitch for free. Swing and a miss. Boy, a good changeup, and he fooled him. He was out in front. That was a heck of a pitch there. First wow. time we've seen that tonight. That's your old straight change there. Freeze was looking for that fastball, and uh, he got the changeup and was out in front. And it's Deuces Wild now. Two on, two out, two two count, two nothing Rangers. Bottom of the first, and here's the pitch for Freeze. Swinging a foul back. Good fastball at 95 right in on his hand. Tell you what, he's made some really great pitches, Harrison has, two threes. And now Napoli goes to the mound. He makes more trips to the mound than the, the milkman makes in a daily route. You ever seen a guy go to the mound more often than this fellow? Yvonne Rodriguez. Mm. Carlton Fisk went out there a lot too. All right. Well, he's back behind home plate now. It's a 2 2 count on Mr. Freeze with two on and two out. And here's that pitch. Inside low, and it's a full count. And the runners will go. Pujols will lead from second base. Berkman will run off of first. Outfielders deep. Infielders deep except that uh, second base where uh, Kinsler stays close to the base. Now he retreats some. And the phone rings in the, their uh, bullpen. There go the runners. Here's the 3 2 pitch. Swing and a shot to left center. Get down, baby. Get down. It is down. It goes to the wall. One run in. Here comes Berkman. He scores, and this game is tied. And David Freeze is hot, hot, hot. Woo! A two run double. He is on fire. The walks came back to haunt Matt Harrison. A pair of walks with two outs and then a two run double. But from the late innings on, Mike, anytime Texas had a lead, the Cardinals erased it. A three run lead at one point, then a two run lead, another two run lead, and David Freeze 
has had a lot to do with the Cardinals getting to game seven and getting tied here tonight. Now it's Yachty in an off speed delivery is a call Steve Wright call CJ Wilson. One of their starters is loose in the bullpen. He's throwing. But you're right about Freeze. He is hot. Well, that 95 mile an hour fastball, pretty good pitch. And on his hands, he fouled back before he got a pitch to drive. And he uh, plugged the gap in left center. Now, Molina could give the Cardinals the lead. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Way outside and high, and it's even at 1 1. And I think Harrison is uh, visibly upset, especially with Wilson throwing in the bullpen. Well, the Cardinals want to get the Rangers thinking, Mike. Uh oh, here we go again. They want to plant that seed, and they've done that. Now they want to see it grow. And uh, Molina, a long fly ball to center field. Way back at the wall, it is caught. A leaping grab by uh, Hamilton, and that is the uh, wild first inning. We're tied to a piece. That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, we almost had to go to the basketball method of ties, lead changes, longest lead. I mean, all of that. It was such a back and forth night. Here's a delivery in at the knees by Carpenter to uh, Napoli. He's the seventh man in their order. So it's seven, eight, and nine. Napoli, Murphy, and uh, Harrison, the pitcher, and the 0 1 picks. Low and it evens the count one and one. Well, Napoli has been the valuable man for the Texas Rangers. Cruz has done so much this year. The postseason is 29 regular season home runs, but Napoli calling the game, catching the pitching staff, mm -hmm. and doing what he has done at the plate. It has been an unreal year for him. And uh, he takes a half swing, lets it go outside. A, uh, a cutter misses, and the counts now two balls, one strike. Napoli with six hits and 16 at bats, two homers, 10 runs batted in. He swings and drills it into left field for a base hit. Boy, he was laying for that delivery. He got it and he ripped it into left field. We owe you a station break and let's take it now. This is the Cardinals Baseball Network. Harland Bank success has been rooted in hometown relationships for over 120 years. Experience the value of a relationship with Heartland Bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Cardinal Baseball on KMOX HD, KEZK HD3, St. Louis. Cardinals turned a couple of double plays in the game last night early in the uh, ball game, and they like to do the same tonight. And here's a fastball that misses outside. Low ball one to uh, David Murphy. He's the left fielder. He won for five lifetime against Chris Carpenter. Freeze for Kyle, Terrio, and Pujols. They want the double play ball and the 1 0 pitch. Outside again, 2 0. Murphy is a 3 for 14 in this 2011 World Series. It's a 2 2 game. 2 4 0 Texas, 2 1 0 Cardinals. Second inning, and the pitch. We're going to foul down the left side. Into the seats and out of play. And the counts now. Two balls and a strike. The Rangers got two in the first with uh, three base hits. Cardinals came back right and tied it on just one base hit. The pitch swinging a slow roller to the pitcher. Carpenter goes to second out there, and that's the only play. We get the man at the second base. He goes one six, and Murphy runs on the fielder's choice, and he swiped 11 bases this year. And uh, Harrison throws lefty bachelor. And he's 0 for 1 in this series to this point. He pitched last year in the World Series also. Texas in the World Series uh, two years in succession beat the, beaten by the Giants last year and he's going to bunt and he takes it uh, over but Lord <laughs> Molina can't believe it. He took two steps out towards the uh, mound and stopped came back and he talks it over with the home plate umpire. Whew. 
That is a Jerry Land. He's the crew chief. And the one old delivery he's already squared the bunt and he uh, takes it away and it's high and outside and it's two and oh. Harrison 0 for 9 during the regular season. And at first, one out, second inning, 2 2 game. Third baseman the freeze is charging. And the 2 0 -oh pitch. He's going to bunt. He does, and it's a good one down the first baseline. Albert gets to it, throws to Terry O'Coving, and the sack is good. It goes 3 4. So an outstanding bunt by the pitcher Harrison, and it brings in uh, Ian Kinsler. Kinsler, eight hits and 23 at bats with two runs batted in this season in this World Series. So Harrison did his job, and now Kinsler, who hit 32 home runs uh, during the regular season and drove in 77, is at the plate with a chance to put his team back on top, and he takes a breaking pitch low ball one. We haven't seen Carpenter's curveball yet, and when he doesn't have that curveball, uh, he's at a disadvantage. When he's getting the curve over, he is tough. He's set, and uh, he delivers inside, and it's 2-0. Well, Kensler, who was picked off in the first inning, has been caught twice by Yadier Molina. Albert Pujols, it was a caught stealing the first time he was nabbed off first base. This time he went right back to Albert Pujols and was tagged out. Here's the 2 0 pitch, and uh, it's a breaking pitch right down the middle. And the umpire called it ball three. It was a little high, I guess it was. And it is now 3 0. Will they turn him loose? I would think so. Here's the 3 0 delivery. He's taking, and it's high, and it's ball four. I kind of think that he didn't mind walking. Kinsler there. How about you? I got that impression, Mike. And Dave Duncan wants a word with Carpenter. He's not happy with the calls he's getting from Jerry Lane. The way he's walking around the mound, and this is a well timed visit by the veteran Cardinal pitching coach. And now Yadier Molina goes out to join Carpenter and Dave Duncan. And we'll wait to see how long uh, before the home plate umpire goes out there. He starts out there now. I don't think he really wants to go out there because. I think he knows that the Cardinal pitching coach is not happy with his call and he's waiting for him. Now, as he gets there, he uh, turns and walks away. No, nothing is said. But he gets the point. A lot of ways to communicate, aren't there? Well, I like it when the manager goes out there early in the ball game and he's not going to take the pitcher out and just wants to talk. He'll just wait. Wants to have a little chat with the home plate umpire. And hey, how you doing, Ump? You all right tonight? A little squeaky back there. <laughs> Bus running on time. Here's the pitch with two on and two out. Oh, beauty. There's that curveball we've been looking for. And oh, Uncle hello, Charlie is hello, in the house. Charlie, I want to tell you. Yeah, Cardinal Minor Leaguers used to have a song about that pitch. Curveballs coming uh, left and right. I'll be home late tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a. The 0 1 pitch, and it's way outside. Pick off play at first, and he uh, is safe. If the ball gets away from Albert, the runner goes from uh, second over to third. So it's going to be first and third, two on, two out. And uh, we'll have to wait to see who they give that air to. I would think they might give it to uh, Albert. We have a replay of it. Let's take a look. Well, they had Kensler again. All Albert had to do was get the tag yeah. down. The ball went off Albert's glove. So it should be. Uh, an air on uh, Pujols. That's how I'm going to call it. Let's see. Uh, e3. And Albert had first base blocked off, but didn't have the baseball. Now another for Andrews, and it's inside a fastball at 91. It's two and one. Two on, two out. They're at the corners. We have seen some uh, strange happenings in this 2011 World Series. We see another one. Well, I really like the play, Mike. Oh, yeah, Kensler has been nabbed right. twice, and that would have been three times. Would have been a killer for them too. Here's another pitch for Andrews. He uh, swings and grounds it right back to Chris. He has it underhanded toss. We go to the bottom of the second. We're still tied. Texas to the Cardinals two.
the pitch to uh, the uh, left handed uh, switch hitting uh, for Kyle standing in from the uh, right side he takes a curve for a strike call Raphael has struggled in this series but uh, he's a bomb waiting to go off and here's a strike call and it's quickly 0 and 2 and the fans are starting to get on this home plate umpire. Here's the next. All right. One and two. A lot of hitting room down that left field line again with the Schumacher on deck and then uh, the Cardinal pitcher Carpenter. And another for Fakal. He takes it low uh, off speed pitch change up. Evens account two and two. And we have another born burner it appears. Each club scored two in the first and now we're in the bottom of the second 2 2 pitch outside and high all three. Those walks will drive a pitching coach and a manager. Into retirement. Here's the payoff 3 2 pitch swinging a ground ball up the middle base hit. There's the power. He gets the lead off. Well, once again, Tony Russo uses his magic, moves for Kyle around, puts him in the seventh slot. Boom. Leading it off in the second inning, he uh, hits one by the diving shortstop into center field that brings in uh, Skip Schumacher. Skippy, two for seven with a run batted in in this series. Infielders, Beltre, Andrus. And they're young. They want the double play ball. Murphy, Hamilton, and Cruz in the outfield. They play a Schumacher to hit into left center. All kinds of room down the right field line. And here's the pitch to the Cardinal uh, infielder outfielder. Instead, it goes to first. Schumann starting in center field tonight. Another capacity crowd here on a lovely baseball evening in beautiful downtown St. Louis's Bush Stadium. The pitch swinging a ground ball to the shortstop could be two out at second and uh, out at first. Six four three and they turned it very well. Pitcher's best friend. Andrews charged the ball. Uh, got the hop he wanted. Shoveled the ball the second, and then the return throw by Kinsler nailed uh, Schumacher on a very close play. First base umpire, uh, Greg Gibson, had about uh, two inches of the foot off of the bag, and he called the play uh, properly. Here's a strike to uh, Carpenter. Chris. 11 hits and 70 at bats during the regular season. No homers, five RBIs. He's 0 for 2 in this series, and he takes it high, and it's even at 1 and 1. That was a straight changer. They uh, play Carpenter like a left handed pro hitter, and he swings and misses. If you drew a line from first base to second base and out towards uh, the outfield, the left fielder Murphy would be playing on the center field side of that line by a goodly margin. He's uh, better than 100 feet off of the line and a swing and a miss. And after two, the Rangers and the Cardinals, and they're tied 2 2. There we go with Hamilton leading off. The pitch, a strike call. Hamilton got an RBI double scored another run the pitch he takes high and away one ball one strike seven out of twenty six in this World Series four runs scored two doubles a homer and six RBIs for last year's most valuable player in the American League. The pitch to Hamilton a big swing and a foul back one ball two strikes. Hamilton last year how about these numbers. He hit 359. 32 homers, 100 RBIs. The pitch outside, two and two. This season, Hamilton hit 298, 25 homers, 94 driven in. Left handed batter, right handed pitcher. Nobody out. We're in the third, tied at two. The pitch 
Swing and a ground ball up the middle for Cal to his left. Fields behind second. From the outfield grass, he throws out Hamilton. Michael Young is coming to bat. Hamilton has been bothered by the groin problem, but seems to be running better and better all the time. He ran hard, but was just out on the throw by for Cal. Michael Young doubled and was left on base in the first inning. Michael Young's a right handed batter. He's their first baseman. The pitch. Breaking ball, strike call. Cutter in there to Michael Young. Young was a teammate of Barry Cito at UC Santa Barbara. Skip Schumacher went to school there. There's the pitch outside. Played three seasons at the University of California, Santa Barbara, hitting 359, 12 homers. 1997, all Big West. Michael Young, the pitch. Swing and a miss. He chased a curveball way outside. One ball and two strikes. It looked like it was going to be over the plate and then went spinning about three or four inches outside off the corner. Carpenter gets a new baseball. One out, nobody on in the third. The Cardinals will have the top of the order coming up when they bat in the bottom of the third inning in this 2 2 game, game seven of the 2011 World Series. Carpenter wheels and deals. A tap foul. First through the curveball up there. Young was waiting and waiting and couldn't center it. Chris Carpenter against Matt Harrison. Each pitcher gave up two in the first inning, then put up a zero in the second. Carpenter has thrown 46 pitches through one out in the third inning. He has a 1 2 count on Michael Young. Adrian Beltre waits on deck for the Rangers. The pitch by Carpenter. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. The cutter strikes out Young. The second K in the books tonight for Carpenter. Beltre was the first strikeout victim, going down swinging for the second out in the first inning. Nine hits and 28 at bats for Beltre. Five runs scored, couple of doubles, two homers, three RBIs. He has struck out seven times now and bats with nobody on two outs. He takes an inside fastball. Looking for a pitch out over the plate. He got something inside. They plan to hit the ball toward right center field in the outfield. Craig completely gives up the left field line. Here's a pitch inside, and Beltre was hit by the pitch. Carpenter was trying to keep that one in as far as he could, and it ran too far. Beltre pulled back and was hit on the left arm. The ball ricocheted off his arm and off Yadier Molina's face mask. So Carpenter has walked two. He has hit a batter. And now Nelson Cruz. Cruz grounded out to third baseman David Freeze, leaving Young in scoring position in the first inning. From the belt, the pitch outside, and Yadier fakes a throw to first base. He's keeping the Rangers on their guard right now, having picked off Kensler. And after Kensler walked in the second inning, had Albert been able to catch the throw from Yadier, that would have been another pickoff. Yadier had two of those during the regular season, 39 for his career in regular season play. The pitch, swing, and a fly ball, left field. Craig started back, comes on about four steps, and makes the catch. No hits, a hit batter, Beltre. One left, the Rangers have stranded four. The top of the order coming up for the Cardinals as we go to the bottom of the third. Here's the pitch to Terry O, and he takes a breaking ball, a strike from Matt Harrison. Go online to stlchevy.com, then be sure to visit your Mid America Chevy dealer tomorrow and make a great deal. Terrio grounded out the first time up. He hits it on the ground. Foul back of third down the left field line. Terrio, Craig, and Pujols. If somebody gets on, Berkman. Get a couple on for David Freeze, as hot as he has been from the ninth inning on last night. A two run triple, a game winning homer, and tonight a two run double. Those are his last three at bats. Game seven of the World Series. 
Two to two for the Cardinals and the Texas Rangers. The pitch on the way. Terry O loops this one to right field and it is caught by Nelson Cruz. We have one out. Let's pause for station identification on the St. Louis Cardinals Baseball Network. Cardinal Baseball is brought to you by the Flooring Industry Council of St. Louis, employing the highly trained install craftsmen. For a list of contractors, call 314 968 3522. Cardinal Baseball on KMOX HD, KEZK HD3, St. Louis. If you're planning a trip to St. Louis in the near future, take in a Budweiser Brewery Tour. For more information, visit BudweiserTours.com. Along with Mike Shannon, I'm John Rooney. Jim Jackson is our producer. The pitch. Downstairs, ball one to Alan Craig. Here's the 1 0 to Craig. There's a fastball, knee high, inside corner, called a strike. 92 miles an hour from Matt Harrison. One ball, one strike. The pitch on the way. It's a check swing, a strike anyway, with a curveball in there. Matt Nations is working with us in the St. Louis studio. Kevin Wheeler hosted the pregame show. He'll have our postgame show. The interviews from Mike Claiborne. The one-two pitch. Fouled off, a pitch inside. It'll be the lower third of the order coming up in the fourth for the Rangers with Napoli, Murphy, and their pitcher Harrison. Carpenter gave up two runs. The Rangers picked up three hits in the first inning. Since then, Carp has given up a single walk and a hit by pitch, but no runs. Now Harrison steps off the rubber before making a one-two pitch to Allen Craig. Harrison walked two with two outs, and they scored on a double by David Freeze. For call singled, and then was out on a double play. Pitch outside. Freeze watched it all the way into Napoli's mitt. Two and two. Alan Craig, a fly ball to center field, actually over in right center where Hamilton caught it. The two two pitch bounces. Breaking ball bounced in front of home plate off Napoli. Ball three, three and two. Harrison has walked two and they turned into runs. He has one strikeout. That was Chris Carpenter. A 2 2 score. And the Cardinal fans come to life. One out, three and two on Craig with pool holes on deck. The payoff pitch. Craig swings and it's a high fly ball right field. This is sending Cruz back to the wall. It's a gunner. Craig gives the Cardinals a 3 2 lead with a solo homer. Craig's third home run of this series. And that's his fourth postseason home run this year. Third in World Series play, as Mike told you. The fans want a curtain call from Alan Craig as Albert Pujols is announced. These fans are having a great time with the Cardinals leading by a run in the third. Albert takes a strike. A slider on the outside corner. One out, a run in. The pitch on the way. Who holds fouls it off to the left. Albert got two singles and three home runs in the game Matt Harrison started, game three. But Pujols did not hit a home run off this pitcher. The three run homer off Alexi Ogando, though, that was the big blow in the ball game. Albert tomahawks a fastball foul to the upper deck above us. 0 and 2 on Pujols, 95 on that high offering. Pujols hit a home run in the 2006 World Series, then the three homers in game three in this one. He takes just inside. 90 mile an hour fastball, a little cut to it. One ball, two strikes. Freeze, a two run double. Craig, a solo homer. The pitch by Harrison, a swing, and here's a pop up foul. 
Young, the first baseman, over by the stands. Cannot make the catch. Uh-oh. That went off his glove, and Albert has life. Reminds me of San Diego in the division series back in 2006 when Mike Piazza couldn't catch a foul ball of Albert's behind the plate. Albert stayed alive in that at bat and dropped one over the fence just to the right of center field for a homer that day. I think they'll probably rule it no play. Probably so. I wouldn't give him an error on it. But that was a catchable ball over there. Here's a shot to third right to Beltre, who has played Pujols well next to the line in this series. And Pujols is out 5-3. But Mike Young has been so good in the middle infield going to the outfield, catching pop flies. But he has been challenged over at first base. Well, I'll tell you a guy that's been challenged and made all the plays is the guy at third. That's a Beltra. He has really played extremely well the defensively, and he's also pitched in in the offensive department. They picked him up after playing for the Red Sox last year. And when he came on board, Young, everybody thought he'd be traded. Here's a swing and a smash. Young with a backhanded diving catch. Keeps the ball from going to right field, retiring Berkman. That was a nice quick first step for Young. One run, one hit, a home run by Alan Craig. Nobody left. Chris Carpenter has thrown 51 pitches through three innings. Hitting room in deep left center field for Napoli. The former Angels catcher takes a curve for a strike. Napoli thought it was high, and it is Wilson warming in the bullpen. Game seven. Any player, any pitcher has anything left? Chances are he'll be out there at some point. Here's a foul ball, 0 and 2. Napoli with a big swing, going after a Carpenter curveball. And it's no balls and two strikes. Napoli wears a shin guard on the left leg. The shortstop for Kyle plays at the edge of the outfield grass. Terrio is up the middle at second base. The pitch by Carpenter. Napoli swings and strikes out on a slow curveball. Three strikeouts for Carpenter. One gone in the fourth inning. And here's David Murphy. All three Garden View Care Centers have a limited number of newly renovated and beautifully decorated assisted living suites available for you now. Families of Garden View Care Center Assisted Living residents know that when long term care is needed, they don't have to move. See for yourself, give them a call, take a tour. Here's the pitch to David Murphy. It's in there for a strike. Garden View Care Centers at 636 449 7575. 636 449 7575 or online at gvcc.com. The pitch outside a ball. One ball, one strike on Murphy. Left-handed batting outfielder playing left field. The sidestep kick, Carpenter's pitch. High and outside, two and one. Murphy reached on a force play, was sacrificed to second, moved up on an error, and was stranded at third base in the second inning. The Rangers have left four on in the game. Two of those in scoring position. Here's a little tap toward Pujols. Carpenter covers, takes the flip, kicks the bag, and beats Murphy. 3-1 on the out. Two up, two down. Now the pitcher's spot. Here's Matt Harrison. Harrison's walking to the plate. Wilson was throwing. Now he's going to stop because the Rangers couldn't put Napoli on. They couldn't put Murphy on. So Harrison will come up to bat in his spot and stay in the game. Wilson takes a seat in the bullpen again. David Freeze, Yadier Molina, and Rafael Fercal are coming up in the Cardinals' fourth inning, with the Cardinals leading three to two. I don't think it's bad for those starters to get up like that and then sit down and then get up again. It's almost like uh, working in a regular game. You know, they're pitching on the mound, they go on and sit down, then they go back and work an inning. Here's a strike into Harrison, the 0-1 pitch, swing and a miss, 0-2. Yeah, you really make a great point, Mike, because as a reliever to get up and then get ready with eight or nine pitches that's not going to happen for them no but getting ready in this fashion Wilson may be all set for the fifth or sixth here's a pitch inside a ball another good curveball and uh, it's nice to see if Carpenter gets that curveball working it could be lights out for he struck out Napoli with a curveball mm -hmm. got him swinging now the one two pitch to Matt Harrison 
fastball fouled off Yadier Molina. One ball, two strikes. You have to be careful with these uh, American League pitchers. You never know when they're going to walk up there and fool you. <laughs> or just be right there waiting for a first ball fastball and swing hard in case they hit it and then they meet it. Here's the one two pitch. Swing and a miss. The pitch to freeze. He buckles the knees and takes a 92 mile an hour fastball. Didn't quite want to swing at the pitch and was able to hold up. 0 and 1. Now the pitch. Freeze takes something off speed outside. One ball, one strike. David Freeze came here from San Diego for Jim Edmonds. The 1 1 is a ground ball foul on the third base side, 1 and 2. Freeze said in the postgame press conference that while rounding the bases, he thought about Jim Edmonds' home run. Game six of the National League Championship Series. He was sitting by Lance Berkman. Berkman goes, I remember that one too. <laughs> <laughs> the one two pitch, ground ball up the middle of the infield. Andrews to his left throws out Freeze. Freeze grounds out to the shortstop. One out in the fourth inning. I don't think there's any doubt that this Texas organization has themselves a shortstop for quite a few years to come. He's a good looking defensive player, isn't he? Well, Andrews and Kensler play well up the middle, and Beltre has been a good addition over at third base. But it left Michael Young in limbo because he can play second, short, third. They put him at first base. But before the trading deadline, the Rangers were interested in acquiring Lance Berkman to help them down the stretch. Mitch Moreland playing first base, but he had tailed off at the plate. Here's a pitch outside to Yadier Molina. Left center field is wide open for Molina. Hit the ball to the wall in center field. Hamilton flagged it down, leaving Freeze on base in the first. Breaking pitch in the dirt. And the curve ball is knocked down by Napoli. Ball two, two and zero oh on Molina. Yadier is six out of 22. Molina's looking for his first World Series home run. The 2 0. Yadi spanks it into center field for a base hit. The center fielder Hamilton runs over toward left center field, fires into Kensler. Molina goes back to first base with a one out single. Rafael Furca got a base hit, his first at bat. Four hits and 26 at bats. Tony is so good at moving his players around the lineup, Mike, when they're struggling. If they're up in the order as Percal was in the leadoff role, trying harder and harder, but going deeper in the hole, Tony moved him down to number seven. He got to hit the first time up. He did that with Freeze when Freeze was striking out, hitting higher in the lineup against the Phillies, and that really got Freeze going. He may be the best in history at that. Here's the pitch taken low for a ball. Another thing Tony likes to do with his lineup, Mike, is keep a power source hitting second in the lineup. He did that years ago with Carlton Fisk in Chicago when Tony first started managing. Carried that through with some power hitters at his attack in Oakland. And Alan Craig came through with a home run hitting second tonight. Here's a big bender, a curveball strike from Matt Harrison to Rafael Fricall. Yeah, he really knows how to uh, keep confidence in his players for them to have their confidence by moving them around taking the pressure off of them before the one one pitch a move to first base Molina is back in he's only a step or two away from the bag but if you don't pay any attention to him he'll sneak one in on you if you're not careful in the steel department the air walks off to the lead at first here's the pitch and for Kyle lays off an oh off speed goodness. pitch oh call a strike. He did call it a strike. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Two yeah. and one. I thought he was going to raise the right arm. Yeah, well, he should have, but <laughs> he didn't know it was a good pitch. It was about just above the belt on the outside corner. They Ball have, the ball, two and one. They have felled the not throwing in their bullpen. Now the pitch was swing and a miss. That had a little mustard on it, 92 miles an hour. And an awful big swing by uh, for Carl. For Carl liked the pitch up, but it didn't like him. Two and two. 
Wilson was throwing earlier. Now the right-hander Feldman warms up for Texas. The move to first. Yadier with two steps is back on the bag. And boo will the Cardinal fans at Bush Stadium. Think about Pakal. If you uh, groove one to him, uh, he's liable to hit it over the wall. He had eight during the regular season. We saw him do it a time or two against Milwaukee. Now the pitch. Swing, and there's a slashing hit to right field. Cruz gets to it and will hold Yadier Molina at second base. Yadier got to second, and his left foot stuck like glue on the second base bag. Well, I'll tell you, Cruz is one of the fine throwing outfielders in this business, and here comes the pitching coach back out there, Mannix. Well, here's for Kyle, move from the leadoff roll down to number seven. He's two for two. Maddox calls an infield meeting with the exception of Beltre, the third baseman. The others come in, huddled around their pitcher, Matt Harrison. Skip Schumacher is a left handed batter, and then Carpenter. Two on with one out, and the Cardinals are trying to pad a three to two lead. Each team scored two in the first, and Alan Craig unloaded to the Cardinal bullpen, right center field. For his third World Series home run, his fourth in the postseason. Well, how many times we talked during the season about if you're going to have a championship year, you have to have a help from unexpected places, and usually it's from a youngster here and there. The pitch downstairs, a breaking ball, ball one on Schumacher, who grounded into a double play in the second inning. Well, last night, Jay Descalzo. Craig and Freeze were huge contributors to the Cardinals one run extra inning win swing and a miss Schumacher was trying to pull that one trying to hit it hard no contact one and one the pitch inside corner running back toward the left handed batter skip wears number 55 on the home white jersey he rocks the bat back and forth. Matt Harrison kicks and deals and there's a strike on the outside corner one and two. Good pitch. Schumacher tightens the laces on the batting gloves. Matt Harrison was able to get 31 ground ball double plays. The most in the majors during the regular season he has one tonight. The pitch. Schumacher is jammed and fouls it back to the screen, staying in there at one and two. Yeah, that was a tough pitch there. And he fouled it off, stays alive. The outfielders play shallow in left and center, and they're way around toward left field. The right field line is wide, wide open with Cruz playing a good 90 feet off the line. Hamilton is shallow and in left center field. Here's the one two pitch to Schumacher. High and outside, two and two. A ball out to the Bank of America or Hardy's sign. Cardinal runners, Molina for Cowell and Schumacher, the man hitting the ball to the gap, could run a while. It's already 71 pitches for him, John. 41 in the strike zone for Matt Harrison. Harrison is ready from the high set, out of the stretch. The pitch. Schumacher fouls it off, breaking his bat. Skip needs new lumber, and the count is two balls, two strikes. More wood for the winter fire. When's or the maybe the fire later tonight. <laughs> we use it tonight. <laughs> hey, when's the first time that you recognize pitch counts? Do you remember? No, we were talking about that the other day, Mike, and probably in the mid, early, or maybe early to mid 80s. Nolan Ryan's trying to get away from. That kind of thinking. Trying to keep his pitchers throwing. Working deeper into ball games. Here's the 2 2 pitch. Broken back ground ball to first. That's taken by Young. He steps on first base. The runners advance. Molina to third for Kyle to second. Young had to keep his eye on the ball and dodge the barrel of the bat that was headed his way at first base. Ah, here's Chris Carpenter and the pitcher can help himself here. Carpenter drove in five runs in the regular season 21 for his regular season career. Carpenter picks up a splinter from Schumacher's bat. Harrison broke two Schumacher bats in that plate appearance. Uh, 
I'll tell you what, those maple bats, they really do splinter. They're getting better with it, but they haven't gone 100% to correct it. Not like the uh, ash lumber that they use. Now the pitch. Carpenter checks his swing. It's a curveball strike call. Runners at second and third. Two outs. The Cardinals have outhit the Rangers 5 4 and lead 3 2 in the bottom of the fourth inning. And Feldman is still dealing out there in the Ranger bullpen. He's a right hander. The pitch outside, backhanded by Napoli and Matt Harrison and Chris Carpenter are on even terms, one and one. A lot of room down that left field line. If he hangs a breaking ball, Carpenter could drive in two very easily. Carpenter's just trying to put a good level swing on it. The one one. Chris takes in the dirt, blocked by Napoli, two and one. Texas got two in the top of the first inning off Carpenter. And the Cardinals got walks to Pujols and Berkman after two outs and Freeze doubled them in. And Craig, with one out in the third, hit a home run to the bullpen in right center. The pitch, Carpenter swings, fly ball, right field. Cruz is there in fair territory. He puts it away. No runs on two hits. And the Cardinals stranded runners at second and third. They've left three on. Mike will be back with the fifth inning. We played four in St. Louis. Chris Carpenter will face the top of the order with the Redbirds up by one and back to Mike Shannon. Thank you John Rooney. Don't forget about the official online shop of the St. Louis Cardinals. All you have to do is go to Cardinals.com. You'll see the latest selection of authentic postseason gear in the camps t-shirts jerseys. It's easy to navigate and it's available 24 7. Only at Cardinals.com. Smash past third and in the left field, and that's how the uh, fifth inning starts. With the leadoff man, the Kinsler, hitting that ball right on the button. It's the third time he's been on. Will Yachty pick him off? <laughs> he uh, picked him off in the first inning, almost had him again in the uh, second inning. And he singles leading off here in the fifth, so he's been on base all three times. It brings in Andrus. He has walked and scored and grounded out. The infielders look for the DP. We're in the fifth. Then the Cardinals lead it three to two. It's two five zero, Texas three five one, for the Redbirds. Check on the runner. And time called now. Kinsler can uh, steal. He's swiped thirty. Andrews, the guy at the plate, is swiped thirty seven this season. And uh, once again, Kinsler gets that walking lead, and we have to make him stop. He draws a throw, and he's back safe. Freeze for Kyle Terrio Pujols on the infield. Craig Schumacher and Bergman in the outfield with Molina doing the catching. And they give uh, Andrews the left field line. Here's the uh, first pitch to him. He's going to bunt. He uh, ducks away from a fastball up and in. Many times he goes up there faking that bunt, Andrews. And he did it again. Ball up and into him, a ball one. Game seven of the 2011 World Series. We're in downtown St. Louis. And we have a great view of the uh, skyline, the old courthouse, the arch. And we are packed in here again tonight. We'll probably have more than 47,000. Redbirds and the uh, Texas Rangers. The pitch to uh, instead it goes to first again and Kensler's back safely. Well, Kensler has been caught stealing three times. The Rangers, as a team, have one steal. They've been caught four times, and that steal was by Kensler. And it really paid off because he swiped second in the ninth inning of game number one. He came in to score the tying run, and then the guy at the plate, Andrews, right behind him. Here's a bunt. It's foul past the third base side. We owe you a station break. Let's take it now. This is the Cardinals Baseball Network. Whether you're a first time home buyer, refinancing, or moving into a new home, call the home loan experts at Heartland Bank Mortgage. 314 512 8900. Heartland Bank Mortgage, equal housing lender. Cardinal Baseball on KMOX HD. KEZK HD3, St. Louis. We have a three to two uh, Cardinal lead in the uh, top of the fifth inning. Tying run at first, Kinsler, leadoff single. And 
Carpenter has his sign, the 1 1 pitch to Andrews. He's going to bunt and he takes a curve and it's low and it's 2 and 1. I don't think he's bunting. I think they ought to switch off here and uh, go for the hit and run. 67 pitches for Carpenter. You usually don't play to tie at home. I think he's just up there messing around with the Cardinals. I'd be watching out for this one and uh, maybe a hit and run. I throw to first, run him back safe. He has Freeze in at the edge of the grass at third base. For Kyle at short, Terry Oort second there, shortened up for the DP. Albert holds against the runner, and Kinsler gets a big lead. And the 2 1 pitch, he's going to bunt and he does, and it goes to uh, the Cardinal pitcher. Second baseman covers, and the sack is good. It goes 1 4. I don't quite. Uh, I don't either. I'm, I'm with you on that, Mike. <laughs> you got two of the guys that can really run, uh, they can handle the bat, and they're bunting here. Well, we'll see if it pays off for him. But Josh Hamilton is uh, rounding in the shape. I'll say that for him. We saw this fellow when he was with Cincinnati. He uh, doubled a run home and scored in the first inning, grounded out to the shortstop in the third. They have a base open, managed second, one out here in the fifth inning. Tying run and scoring position in the pitch to Josh. It's low outside, ball one. Well, his home run last night in the tenth inning was his first in 83 at bats. It was a big one. Gave them a lead. The Cardinals came back again, tied it, and then won it in 11. Here's the 1 0 pitch for their center fielder Josh uh, Hamilton. And uh, he uh, takes it outside. 2 0. Young on deck here. Hamilton was the 2010 American League most valuable player. He had 22 first place votes. He's at the dish right now, and the 2 0 pitch to him is uh, outside, and uh, they're going to walk in. We call that a strike. He called it a strike. <laughs> they're trying to walk him, but the umpire won't let him. It was close. He threw up the right hand. They have the base open, Young on deck, and Beltray behind him. And a 2 1 pitch now for uh, the left handed swinger, and it's high and outside. That's ball three. Should be ball four. It's three and one. I'm a good umpire up here, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> What's he'll say? Farther away from the dirt. <laughs> Smarter you are. <laughs> exactly. Oh boy. All right. It's a three and one. With a tying run at second, and uh, it's a pop up. It's foul. That's going to go uh, into the seats over there, dugout, and uh, no. The Cardinal third baseman free into the Camberwell, and he makes the catch. And then he slipped to the ground, so did the shortstop over there. Freeze went to the uh, wall, reached over, and made the catch, and then uh, almost fell into the seat, slipped off because the railing is not open there, or it is open there. And uh, he robs uh, Hamilton of another try. What a nice play by Freeze. He went to the uh, wall over there by the camera well, but they have a gate and it's open, and he fell right into the gate. Hey, Mike, didn't Kenny Boyer make a great catch over by the stands in New York in the 64 You're series? right. Very reminiscent of that one. Here's another pitch, and it's a swing and a miss. Too young. He went after that curve. What a big play by Free as he robs the Hamilton of a chance with a tying run at second in the scoring position here in the fifth inning. Rally tiles out again and a fastball high and the counts even one apiece. Well this one's going to get up to the bullpen again before we're out of here tonight. That's for sure. And we expected that. The Carpenter as Tony said making the strikes going to give the Cardinals and give Tony and Duncan everything he has. And the one one for Young. Swinging a foul back. Boy a good fastball 93 miles per. That baby had some zip on it. I say one thing for Young, he was right on it. Fastball right down the middle. I mean, it was center cut. Riley Towers are flying again. And the Carpenter checks, kicks, pitches. Line foul, right side, out of play. Another fastball right in on his hands. He sure has him set up for that curveball if he could get it over. 
Let's see what he comes up with here. Forty-seven thousand plus on their feet, and the pitch to Young. Swing and a miss. Second mile with a breaking ball, and we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Cardinals lead Texas three to two. The line on Matt Harrison, four innings, three runs, five hits, two walks, a strikeout, and a Craig home run. He leaves in favor of Scott Feldman. Terry O is 0 for 2. He's grounded out and flied out. And the first pitch to him by the right-hander, Feldman, is a strike on the outside corner. Feldman, in his fifth game in this World Series, no wins, no losses. He's pitched four in the third inning. And a swing and a foul goes back to the screen. And it puts Terrio in the hole in two. Cool, uh, brisk evening, but no wind at all. Nice night. Here's the old two for Terrio. Half swing and a foul. Squirts off to the right and back to the screen. Texas got two in the first. Cardinals came back with a two run double by Freeze to tie it in the bottom of the first. Then a home run by Craig in the third. And that's where we are now in the fifth. Cardinals up three to two. And Terrio swings and fouls it back to the screen again. So he's making a Scott Feldman work. As John told you, Harrison is finished. Four innings, three runs, five hits, struck out a man, walked two. And another for Terrio. It comes from the tall right-hander. Now time is called as he steps up. Feldman was in the game yesterday. Everybody's available in this one. Even Jim Jackson swinging a foul. Even Mike. Well, Feldman began the year on the disabled list. He had surgery on his right knee two days after the World Series last year. He was rehabbing during spring training. Well, on the 60 day DL, July the 8th, he ended up pitching in the 11 games starting two in the regular year. He fires and it's a half swing and another foul. He jammed it. This guy's from uh, Honolulu, or excuse me, from Hawaii. He is a 6'7", a 230-pounder. That's where he was born. Now lives in Burlingame, California. As John told you, out a lot of the season. And the 0-2 from him is low. Craig on deck. This season, 2-1-1. No saves. Pitch number eight coming up here to Ryan Terrio. He's made him work. And a one two offering. Swinging a broken bat ground ball to the shortstop. That takes care of Terrio. He's 0 for 3. And that's the first out here in the Cardinal fifth inning. Here comes Alan Craig. He has three World Series home runs. He hit his third here tonight in the third. He has just five hits, three of those home runs. And two of those home runs have come against that left hander, Harrison, the starter. They play Allen to uh, hit in the right field. They give him all of the left field line. Play him like a uh, left handed pull hitter in the pitch. Outside with a curve. Albert on deck. I remember being on the winter caravan with Alan Craig and some of the young players and telling them Mike there's really nothing more you can do at triple A. It's your time. How many times have we uh, heard you say that numerous times and 
I mean, you're so correct, 100%. Well, you had to play here. There's no other place for you. They, they can't do anything else down there. They've dominated. They've proven it. They've proven it there. They put up some high numbers at AAA. Freeze and Craig and Jay has played well there. Descalzo has put together good numbers in the Cardinal system. And boy, was he a big, big contributor. On a 2 0. Uh... Feldman misses low and it's ball three three and oh uh, he'll probably take a pitch. Long look. And here's the three old pitch. He uh, looks at a strike on the outside corner. For a long time the most home runs by a Cardinal in the World Series was four by Lou Brock. With a number of players, well, not a number, but a few players that with uh, three home runs. Craig already has three in this series, so does Albert. Three home runs in this series, and four now to tie Lou Brock. All right, we're set again. 3 1 delivery. It comes from Feldman to Alan Craig, and uh, he takes it outside and low. It's ball four, and Albert will back. For the man at first base and only one out. The one out walk to uh, Alan Craig, and that's the third walk given to the cards tonight. The first two walks came in to score. That was in the first inning. Two horse and Berkman. Three doubled them home. Now Alan Craig, a one out walk here in the fifth. Crowd that gets back into it. Tell you what, this town has been a buzz since that unbelievable game last night. It hasn't stopped. All right, Albert Pujols swinging a miss. Good fastball right in on his hands. Terrific sinking fastball in. Infielders playing the pull, outfielders the same, and they're deep. Second baseman, the Kinsler, almost behind the second base bag. That's how much he plays in the pull. So there's a, there's better than a, there's about a hundred feet of the distance between the, the first baseman and the second baseman. And the 0 1 pitch for the Cardinal first baseman, Albert Pujols, is. Uh, Coming. Swinging a foul back. Another good sinker right in on his hands and it's on two. Many of the Cardinal owners are uh, here for this game number seven. Seated uh, down by the Cardinal dugout. Who else could delight the entire section? And the entire park and the entire city, and he's struck by a pitch, an 0-2 delivery, and uh, he's hit, and he takes first base, and here comes Lance Burton. Well, just scraped the, uh, the uniform of uh, Albert Pujols. George stop comes in and says something to uh, Feldman. Now the catcher goes out there. Catcher doesn't want to let anybody talk to that pitcher without him uh, being there. Don't blame him. Well, his track record this year, he's one of the fine, fine players in the American League. If not the best, when you consider everything, Mike, what he's done with the pitching staff and at the plate. Offensively. Napoli, 30 home runs, 75 RBI, and he batted 320. Wow. That's why I'm saying he, he may be their best player in the American League. Everything considered, taking a beating behind the plate. All right, crowd is whooping it up. First and second, one out, and Berkman takes a curve inside, ball one. Bergman uh, facing uh, Scott Feldman. Wilson's warming up again. 
We're in the bottom of the fifth. Cardinals lead three to two. First and second one out. One old pitch for Lance Burke. It's low and inside. Two and off. Berkman hitting 400 against this right-hander. Four hits and ten at bats. Freeze on deck. Craig's at second. Uh, Albert's at first, so uh, two good base runner. And with a one out, Berkman a 2-0 pitch, and the Cardinal switch hitter from the left side. Swings and grounds it slowly to the right side. Uh, first baseman has it. Pitcher covers. And they're out there, three one. Both runners move up. Well, Freeze has hurt them big time. And they have a base open with a Yadier and Molina on deck. David is 0 for 1 against Scott Feldman. And the runners at second and third, two outs, and the second baseman comes in now to start to uh, tell. I wonder if one of them wants to pitch. <laughs> Napoli, Napoli is being called out. Uh, They're going to change the signs now? I don't know. A lot of talking going on, I know that. So, uh, that conversation is uh, completed. It reminds me of the old party lines on the telephone, man. <laughs> <laughs> what, what advances we've made in the last uh, and, and 20 Sarah, or 30 Sarah, years. the operator on Andy <laughs> Griffith. <laughs> oh boy. They're going to walk freeze intentionally. As you suspected. That'll be the second walk here issued by Feldman. First intentional pass of the night. It's the fourth given to the Cardinals. And it'll be a Yadier Molina with the bases loaded, uh, two outs, and I like it. Listen to the fans, so do they. Yadi has pinned the center fielder Hamilton against the wall, and he has singled. And he's swinging the bat very well. Yadi has seven hits in 23 at bats in this series, hit 14 home runs during the regular season. Yachty wants the baseball inspected. Yeah, it's been used four times. <laughs> four wide ones. That's right. That's a, that's longevity for a baseball nowadays. <laughs> Napoli Napoli asked Jerry Lane you know, about the baseball. He pointed to Yadier Molina. Yadier requested the inspection. And here we go. Bases loaded, Mike. Two outs. Three to two Cardinals lead it here in the bottom of the fifth inning and this crowd is into it big time forty seven thousand three hundred ninety nine on their feet and uh, Yadier Molina at the plate the first pitch to it. It's low ball. One. What a big walk for Molina in the game last night forcing in a run. <laughs> Craig at third, a Pujols down at second, a threes at first, two outs and a 1-0 pitch for Yadier Molina. It's in the St. Louis air, outside, two and a half. Well, Feldman's cruising for a bruising here. Two walks and a hit by pitch. This is where the Cardinals can capitalize big time. If they get out of this inning, momentum will slide their way. Here's the 2 0 pitch with the bases loaded. The Cardinal catcher, Yadier Molina, takes it outside low, ball three. What'd you say, John? Well, last night Yadier delivered a bases loaded walk to get a run batted in in the sixth inning. Really? The Cardinal comeback. He did. Really? It was a bases loaded walk. Bases dog, loaded. Dog him, Mike. It was a bases loaded walk. Bases loaded. Two outs and a 3 0 pitch from Feldman to Molina. Here she is, right down central, 3 and 1. Molina is 1 for 2 on the evening. The on deck man is uh, Rakal. He's a switch hitter. Infielders deep, they play Molina to pull. Outfielders give uh, Molina the left field line. 
And on a 3-1 delivery, Molina takes it outside on the corner. He had already thrown his bat down and uh, had headed for first base. Oh, my, that looked outside. No, nope, it had the plate. So one of the prettiest plays in the uh, game of baseball. Bases loaded, two outs, three-two count. It'll be off and to the races over at Fairmont on this one. Three is off of first. Pujols will run from second. Craig, the man at third. There they go. Here's the three-two delivery. Outside ball four. He. Walks again, and the Cardinals now lead by two. In comes Craig, and it is four to two. The third walk given in this inning, and here comes their manager, uh, Mr. Washington, uh, slowly out of the dugout. He uh, looks to the bullpen, and he calls to the bullpen. Single twice. He's two for two tonight, and he could get the biggest hit in his very uh, fine a major league career. This is his first World Series. And Pacal looks for his first RBI in World Series history. The pitch. Hit him. It hit him, and the Cardinals now lead five to two. The uh, Rangers are uh, destructive right in front of our eyes. The Cardinals have scored two runs without a base hit. Three walks and two hit pitches. And there's the first World Series RBI for Pacal. It's a tough way to get it, but he'll take it. Well, he took one for the team to get that RBI hit. A bell high on the left side. And to score, uh, Albert, who was hit by a pitch. And now it's Schumacher with the sacks jam facing the lefty. C.J. Wilson. And the pitch to uh, Skippy. No ball one. Unbelievable. But he walks him. Cardinals will have scored three runs on uh, no hits, four walks, and two hit bats. Wilson is uh, the fellow that likes to uh, surf, so he's out around. Uh, Huntington Beach, born in Newport, lives in Huntington Beach, California. And with the bases loaded, he delivers. Oh, a curve, and it was a beauty, man. I mean, that thing dropped off the table and a strike called, and it's one and one. That was some curveball there. Whew. Schumacher is the uh, eighth man to bat here in the uh, fifth inning. The pitch. Oh, right down central strike call. Schumacher has a hit off of uh, Wilson. He's one for two. And the shoe man is two for nine in the series. He's hit into a double play and he's rounded out tonight. He bats with a sacks jam, two away, and in the hole, a one-two delivery from C.J. Wilson. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, struck him out. We go to the sixth. Cardinals five, Texas two. In America. Check them out. See their starting lineup or go to stl4.com. First pitch by Carpenter to uh, Beltre. A cutter and a strike call. The next. Outside on the corner. Perfect pitch. 0 and 2. Beltre in this series. 
Nine for uh, 27 coming in. He struck out and he was hit by a pitch. And on an 0 2, he grounds it right back to fifth. One hopper, underhanded toss, one down, sixth inning action. And here comes uh, Mr. Nelson Cruz. He has grounded to third and he's flied to left. 0 for 2 is Ogando uh, Alexi uh, up and throwing again in their bullpen. No action on the Cardinal side. We're in the sixth inning. It's a 5 to 2 Cardinal lead. Two big uh, bonus runs for the Cardinals in the bottom of the fifth without a hit. The Cardinals have sent eight men to the plate, did not get a hit. There were three walks in the inning and two men hit by pitches. Swinging a foul back off the bat of Cruz. Boy, this guy has a great swing, doesn't he? Great you know, he, he waits back. about as late as anybody I can recall. Paul Molitor did that. Mm -hmm. So but well, this, but this guy is bad. It's quicker than Molitor. It's, it's quicker and more power. <laughs> Correct. And the one-one pitch, swinging a high fly ball into left field. Back, back is Craig. He's at the wall and he leaps and he makes the catch. He might have robbed him of the home run. That's how close the ball. Wow. Wow. Craig a leap and he did rob him of the home run. Play. It shows that the ball was uh, over the fence and uh, he grabbed it and brought it back into the park. Right in front of the AT&T center. What a play. He went, what, a good six inches over the wall? Boy, Carpenter, <laughs> biggest cheerleader on the field, watching Craig make that play. He was over the wall, about oh, above his wrist. Yeah, he might have been a, a, a foot over the wall. And he robs a cruise of a home run. And now it's Napoli, and he takes it high outside ball. One. Boy, this guy's a tough out. Mike Napoli, who's one for two tonight, single in the second, struck out in the fourth, and he bats with no one on. Uh, two out here in the sixth inning. And a uh, strike on the outside corner. Perfect pitch. He didn't like the call. Talks it over with the home plate umpire. And uh, just a conversation. Isn't that a good pitch? Well, when I raise my right arm, it usually is a good pitch. <laughs> Here's the next. Oh, uh, wow. It's even now. <laughs> I he think so, Mike. Back there. Well, a little lobbying right there paid off for Napoli. Mm -hmm. He called that one a ball, and it's 2 and 1. They give Napoli a left center. Infielders are deep straight away. 2 1 pitch, no one on, 2 out. Swinging a line drive to right. There is a. Mr. Berkman, a running catch. Three up, three down. And that is the first time that this Texas team has gone down in order. We go to the bottom of the six. Cardinal lead the Rangers 5-2. In the first pitch by the lefty Wilson is a strike at the knees. Well, our fresh take is brought to you by Subway, the newest Subway yogurt parfait. You can have it for breakfast or as a treat any time of the day. Subway, eat fresh. And our fresh take as a swing and a miss goes on Carpenter as he uh, took the curveball. And uh, they were going to send in Punto, but they decided a little uh, accomplished. I may have there. been mistaken, Mike, when I looked down there and saw Terrio's three. Uh, no, Punto no, wears they, number eight. They, I thought no, he was no, out there. No, Punto went out there. I they called him did. back. And. Uh, uh, that's all the manager talking over with the uh, Cardinal pitching coach and here's a slowly hit ground ball to second and that takes care of a carpenter. Uh, I, I was going to use the old Bowery boys line my eyes were receiving me. Well sometimes uh, they do. <laughs> well the fresh take. All right. How about uh, since the seventh inning last night when Alan Craig replaced Matt Holliday. Craig went one for three last night. Tonight, one for two is two hits since the seventh inning last night. Our home runs. He has scored three runs, plus, he took one away from the Texas Rangers, denying a home run to Nelson Cruz. And we can fresh take you all night long with uh, the stats we have for this uh, World Series. Here is uh, the Cardinal leadoff man, Ryan Terry, on the first pitch during his low ball one. Well, you talk about that uh, 
Big play by Craig out in left field. Cruz thought he had dialed a line long distance right at the AT&T sign, but he was short circuited by the great catch by Craig, and he robbed him of a home run. Yeah, disconnected. Here's another for Terrio from the left-hander, C.J. Wilson, and uh, he's looking for his first hit of the night. Ryan on a 2-0 pitch, swing a fly ball into center field. Over to get it though is their fine center fielder Hamilton, two away, and uh, Terrio is 0 for four tonight. Carpenter's pitch count is an 88. And he comes back out to work the seventh. Murphy, the pitcher's spot, and then the top of the order, Ian Kinsler. Mr. Craig walks in. Wide to center in the first inning, homered in the third, walked and scored in the fifth. He's back up there here in the sixth. And they give him all of the left field line. He homered over the right field boards, the pitch strike. From the lefty, Wilson. He has to skip the rope. Get out of uh, jumped out of the way of a delivery and a low and inside for one. Infield. Very deep straight away, except for Kinsler. He's hugging that bag again. And the 1 0 delivery. Craig a swing and a foul. And the count's even now at 1 and 1. Redbirds lead it 5 to 2. Each club has five hits. Arthur Rhodes starts to loosen in the uh, Cardinal bullpen. I guess he's the oldest uh, pitcher uh, in the park tonight, don't you think? Man. I mean, that's on the active rosters. <laughs> we have a lot. Of, we got a lot of ex pitchers here tonight. <laughs> I thought you were trying to trick me on that no, one, no, Mike. No, uh -huh. no, no. Trying to slip it by. I me. wouldn't do that. Swinging a miss on a uh, cutter right in on his hand. Hey, Bob Force threw a strike tonight, throwing out the ceremonial first ball. Great to see Bob at the park. The only man in Cardinal history to throw two no hitters. There have been some great pitchers wear that Cardinal uniform, but Bob Force is the only one that. Has thrown two no hitters in a Cardinal uniform. All right. Here's a one two for uh, Alan Craig. Inside, missed there. Also, Bob and his brother are uh, brothers that have thrown no hitters. Yeah, Kenny Force worked in the front office with the Angels for a long time. Well, when Forrest was pitching for the Cardinals, Mike, I know there are many people who look at the matchups and they come to St. Louis to see Carpenter <laughs> pitch. I came to St. Louis to see Forrest pitch a lot. Well, I came to see Al Brazel pitch. The delivery <laughs> swing miss. He struck him out. We go uh, to the seventh. John Rooney is going to tell you all about it. Here's strike one. 90 miles an hour on the fastball. Octavio Dotel is warming up now. Arthur Rhodes was throwing earlier. Well, Arthur's still standing on the mound out there. And here's strike two. Two strikes on David Murphy. A fastball at 90, a curveball at 71, and it's 0 and 2 on Murphy. Chavez is on deck, the pitch. There's a ball ripped down the right field line. This is going to hit down fair and bounce into the stands for a ground rule double. Murphy on an 0-2 count gets a ground rule double. And here is Andy Chavez. This was a hanging curve middle of the plate. Murphy's third career postseason double comes in a leadoff role in the seventh. Former Met Andy Chavez. Left handed batter. And here's Tony climbing the dugout steps. He's going to the bullpen. He has had Arthur Rhodes ready and he's going to bring in the veteran left hander. And a huge crowd at Boy Stadium responding to Chris Carpenter with a standing ovation. A crowd of 47,399.
Carpenter walks across the first baseline toward the dugout. And Matt Trainer. Trainer is the only player other than the Cardinal addition to the roster with Matt Holliday inactive for the game tonight. The Cardinals activated Adrian Chambers. Chambers hasn't seen action, but Trainer has not. He has been available from the get go for this World Series. All right, your Victoria Alba comes up. Tori Alba is two for four in the World Series, this one with. A walk and two strikeouts. Arthur Rhodes pitches with a runner at second base, five to two in favor of the Cardinals. The former Ranger pitches. Strike one on the inside corner. Rhodes is appearing in his third game, two thirds of an inning, no walks, no strikeouts. And the Cardinals keep Dotel busy in the bullpen in right center field. Murphy walks off to a lead from second base. Ian Kinsler stands on the grass between home plate and the on deck circle. Here's a pitch upstairs, a slider from Arthur Rhodes. Rhodes pitches from the third base side of the rubber. The Rangers let him go, the Cardinals picked him up. Rhodes from the Third base side of the rubber checks on second and deals a swing and a high fly ball center field. There's Skip Schumacher tagging at second base. Murphy Schumacher makes the catch. Murphy takes one step toward third and goes back. Rhodes retires Tori Alba. And Ian Kinsler is coming up. Arthur Rhodes. Born October 24th, 1969, gets his one batter, retiring Tori Alba, and we have another pitching change. Dotel gets the call. Tony La Russa makes another pitching change. He just adds to his World Series record for pitching changes. One inning, one hit the line last night for Westbrook, and he was the winning pitcher as the Cardinals came back to beat the Texas Rangers in 11 innings, 10 to 9. Hotel has a few more warm ups and then we're back to action in the seventh and deciding game of the 2011 World Series. We hope you're enjoying it tonight with Mike Shannon. I'm John Rooney. Jim Jackson is our producer. Matt Nations is in the St. Louis studio. Kevin Wheeler will be along to host the post game show. Mike Claiborne and I hope to be busy. Mike on the field. I'll be downstairs to help out. Well, we have a long way to go on this one. Yeah, I guarantee you one thing. Those last nine outs are. Uh, you talk about a hard nine. Now there's a hard nine. Those last nine outs, and probably the toughest one is uh, number 27. And uh, it's not going to be any different tonight. It doesn't appear as this uh, guy, Ian Kinsler. He is really some player. This is a really good Texas baseball team, folks. I want to tell you, they're good. Well, back-to-back -back World Series, that speaks for itself. That's exactly right. The Mizzou Tiger, Ian Kensler, has been on base three times with two singles and a walk. He was picked off in the first inning. That has already proved to be a big, big play as the Rangers scored two runs in the first inning after that pickoff. The pitch by Dotel, a strike at the knees. John, can you remember uh, any more uh, Crucial pickoff plays in a World Series, and we've had in this one. Well, with um, Holiday over at third base last night, Kinsler has been picked off a couple of times, nearly a third time. One strike. Now the pitch, showing bunt, and this and this is popped off to the left and hits down foul. Kinsler was trying to get the ball down between the mound and third base. Not only move Murphy to third, but get on base to try to set the table for Andrews and Hamilton. Old pins are busy again. They have uh, Adams up uh, throwing in their bullpen. And Zipchinski is throwing for the Cardinals. Rhodes and Dotel have worked here in the seventh inning. The pitch, a swing and a foul off Yadier Molina. That staggered Yadier for a moment. <laughs> it did. Boy, I tell you, it's like a. Left cross is just staggered back as John hit him right in the mask. And he 
backed up a inch or two. <laughs> We're in the seventh. The Cardinals have a lead of five to two. That'll rock your world war. Oh, that rattled his cage. <laughs> As Yadier puts down the sign, now the target. The pitch by Dotel. Swing and a miss. Kensler is out on strikes. Can you believe how fast that was? A 94 mile an hour fastball. He's never hit that all year. Uh, you get a little pumped up in the World Series, though, don't you? Oh, my. And you talked about how this has been like a, a boxing match. Last night's game, a heavyweight bout. The Cardinals have been playing in games like that. They've, they've played in elimination games ever since the 1st of September. They're kind of like your final exams. You're well prepared by the time you get there when you follow the path the Cardinals have taken. Here's the pitch to Andrews up and in ball one. Andrews likes to dive out over the plate as do many hitters nowadays. He backed away from the pitch up and in one and oh. Two outs Murphy's at second he let off with a double. Leave him out there and the momentum will stay your way. The pitch inside and Andrews jumps <laughs> and looks out to yeah. Octavio Dotel. You, you know, he acts like the inside part of that plate belongs to him, doesn't he? <laughs> like he paid the real estate taxes on it. Pujols came in to say something to Dotel. Dotel leans against the rubber. 2 0 oh on Andrews. Now the pitch. Swing and a foul back two and one. He throws him two up and in, uh, knocks him off the plate, and he dives right back out there and uh, it takes a rip at a high outside pitch. What time's the bus after the game? Well, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> this is it. Game seven of the World Series, the last possible day of the 2011 season, October 28th. Two and one on Elvis Andrews. Dotel pitches to the Texas shortstop a oh, little oh, bit low. Man, oh man. Three and one. Whew. On deck, Josh Hamilton. Andrews takes a two out walk here. Hamilton will come up representing the tying run. Zipchinski is ready if Hamilton gets to the plate this inning. Dotel on three and one, the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball center field. There skips Schumacher. Lots of room. He has it. Andrews hits a fly ball for out number three. And the Rangers wasted a leadoff double by David Murphy. That is a big, big uh, letdown for the Rangers and a big, big boost for the Cardinals. Six left on now by the Texas Rangers, and four of those have been stranded in scoring position. And the Cardinals have played six and a half innings in game seven of the World Series. To the bottom of the seventh after we pause for station identification on the St. Louis Cardinals Baseball Network. Let Heartland Bank's private wealth group customize a plan for building, managing, preserving, and transferring your wealth. Heartland Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Cardinal Baseball on KMOX HD, KEZK HD3, St. Louis. John Rooney along with Mike Shannon. Bush Stadium in St. Louis, this place is jam-packed. 47,399 for the final game of the 2011 baseball season. And the Cardinals lead game seven of the World Series, five to two over the Rangers, as Albert Pujols comes to bat. Lance Lynn is warming up in the Cardinal bullpen. When the Rangers bat in the eighth, Hamilton, Young, and Beltre are coming up. I'd like to have some more runs. I'd love you? to have about four or five more. The pitch on the way. It's a breaking ball and a strike from the former Padre. That was a pretty good pitch, wasn't it? Adam, Adam's a good one, Mike. We saw yeah, him with I the Padres. Came over in a three-way, a uh, three-player trade deal, deal with the San Diego Padres on July 31st. Used to be with Milwaukee, and then on to San Diego. The pitch by the right-hander, Pujols fouls it out of play as the cameras flash here at Bush Stadium all over the ballpark. This is a big inning, a big, big inning. Uh, you go into the seventh inning and you have your three, four, and five guys. Uh, you'd like to have some more talents. The Rangers have loaded up the left side of the infield. Kensler, the second baseman, is on the outfield grass in short center, a step over on the third base side. Andrews the shortstop one step on the outfield grass Beltre plays one step off the line at third and deep. The 0 2 pitch. 
Pujol swings and fouls it out of play off to the right. Adams got into 48 games for Bud Black and the San Diego Padres this year. Three and one with a 1.13 ERA. Then he continued his fine season working for Mike Maddox and Ron Washington going two and three for the Rangers a 2.10 ERA in 27 games. He walked 14 this year and struck out 74. He's around the plate all the time. Mike Adams from Robstown Texas. The 33 year old right hander brings it in and Albert fouls it off the end of the bat to the screen over by the on deck circle. All three Guardview Care Centers have a limited number of newly renovated and beautifully decorated assisted living suites available now. Skilled nursing is available on site from the Guardview Care Center pros. See for yourself. Take a tour. Call 636-449-7575. 636-449-7575. Visit Guardview Care Centers online at gvcc.com. 0-2 on Albert. Three homers, six RBIs. Ball in game three against Texas. The pitch. Pujol swings and strikes out. 92 mile an hour sinking fastball down and in, and Adams gets Pujols. Now Berkman will come up batting left handed against the right handed pitcher. The strikeout is the fourth against Cardinal batters tonight. Berkman walked and scored in the first inning. Texas had a 2 0 lead going to the bottom of the first. Terrio grounded out. Craig hit a fly ball for an out. Then Albert Pujols walked. So did Lance Berkman. And David Freeze plugged a gap in left center field, scoring Pujols and Berkman to tie it up. Then in the third, Alan Craig hit a home run to the Cardinal bullpen. The Cardinals have led ever since. The pitch by Adams. Berkman takes inside. The Redbirds added two runs without a hit in the fifth inning. That's right, without a hit. Thanks to three walks, one intentional, and two hit by pitch. Molina walked with the bases loaded for the second straight game to get an RBI and for was hit by a C.J. Wilson pitch to force in the second run in the fifth. The pitch to Berkman a swing and a tapper right back to the mound under the pitcher's glove the shortstop fields and can't throw him out. Andrews couldn't throw out Berkman an infield hit. Boy Adams thought he had the ball there for a moment but the ball got under his glove rolled over the mound leaving the shortstop to field it. Andrews barehanding made the play close but not in time. Tell you, Berkman's running so much better now that and he just he gets better and better because he gets healthier and healthier and uh, you're right John the pitcher thought he had it but it just sneaked under his glove that last bounce kind of scooted and it scooted right underneath his leather. And the good news Berkman will be back with the Cardinals for 2012. David Freeze one for two tonight. They put him on with an intentional walk in the fifth inning. He grounded out to short in the fourth, but had a clutch two out double to left center field, driving in two runs, tying the game back in the first. Two for the Cardinals in the first, one in the third, and two in the fifth, and a 5 2 red bird advantage in game seven. Mike Adams works out of the high set position. The right hander deals low and in, ball one. The Cardinals beat the Phillies in five. Carpenter over Halliday in a brilliantly pitched game by the Cardinal Ace. Then the Redbirds defeated Milwaukee in six games. The Cardinals are trying to win it all, going the distance in this seven game World Series with Texas. 5 2 Redbirds. The 1 0 pitch. Throw to first base. Berkman is safe. Freeze steps out at home plate. The Cardinals are attempting to become the 19th team to come back from being down 3 2 in the fall classic under the current seven game format. The last team to do it the 2002 Angels who trailed the Giants 3 2 before taking six and seven in Anaheim. The pitch up and in ball two to David Freeze away Jerry Lane stood up I thought he might raise the right arm but didn't 2 and 0. It was almost like a backup slider. And Freeze in a good hitting count again. Matt Harrison, Scott Feldman, C.J. Wilson, now Mike Adams. Those are the Texas pitchers tonight. Harrison with the first four, giving up three. Feldman gave up two. Now the pitch. Slider outside and low. Three and zero oh on Freeze. Well, 
Well, you think that the manager will turn him loose? Freeze. We haven't seen him hit 3 and 0. Not many times, Mike. I don't recall him pulling the trigger on 3 and 0. He's a good two strike hitter though isn't oh, he? he he's as good as a two strike hitter we have on our ball club I can tell you that he's very good. Well, he showed that last night. Last two at bats. Driving in three big runs. The pitch freeze takes it swing. right down the middle and he was going to react had the ball been where he wanted it. It looked like uh, he was swinging. I thought he was going to pull the trigger. But that was a good pitch too uh, at the knees on three and all. Three balls and a strike. Berkman is at first base with one out in the bottom of the seventh inning, five to two Cardinals. And here's Mike Adams from the stretch. A move to first, Whoa. and Berkman is back. No tag applied by Young. Berkman was leaning towards second. He was. <laughs> Adams tugs on the bill of the cap. Leans against the first base side of the rubber. Breeze adjusts the batting helmet, holds the bat right down on the knob. Hitting room in left center field. The infield is a double play depth. Throw to first. Berkman is safe again. No tag applied by Young. Michael Young is at first. Kensler and Andrews are up the middle at second and short. With Beltre playing deep at third and a step or two off the line. David Murphy is in left field over toward left center. The center fielder Hamilton plays toward right field. And back in right field, Nelson Cruz playing a little bit deeper for Freeze. The runner goes. The pitch is taken for a ball. The throw. Berkman is out from here to. Oh no, that right, was ball, ball four. four. Called a ball four. He called that ball four. Berkman just pulls up at second on the walk. And uh, I think Napoli is visually upset with that call, and so is their pitcher. We get a look at the replay here. That was. Drifting just off the inside corner. It was inside. Thought it caught the corner. Boy, this is the inning. If the Cardinals can tack on a couple here, they'll make it a lot easier for uh, the rest of the uh, bullpen tonight. Gonzalez, the left hander, throws in the bullpen. So on three and one, the Cardinals were running, but Freeze took ball four just inside. The walk is the sixth given up by Texas pitching tonight. And the Rangers have hit two batters. That was a big, uh, big ball four there, wasn't it? That's the uh, sixth walk given to the Cardinals tonight. You have to capitalize here. If Yachty can get the job done here, the momentum will stay on the Cardinal side. Well, I was mentioning those six walks, Mike, plus the two hit by pitch. And six hits, that's 14 base runners. The Cardinals have scored five times. Pujols has scored twice tonight. Craig has scored twice. Berkman scored the other run. Yadi Yadi. He drove in a run with a bases loaded walk in the two run fifth. A look to second. Now the pitch. Ooh. Over but low, ball one. Wow, that, there have been some close pitches for Adams. Adams got Pujols on strikes. Then Berkman hit a little dribbler over the mound. Adams couldn't get his glove down in time to catch it. Andrews, the shortstop, barehanded the ball, but the throw was too late. Berkman had a hit. And Freeze walked. Two on with one out. The 1 0 pitch from Adams to Yadier Molina. No, wheel around, no throw to second base. Kinsler is playing about 10 feet away from the bag. The shortstop, Andrews, is a good 20 feet away from second base. Berkman scored one of the two first inning runs. He walks off to a good lead at second. Hitting room down the left field line for Molina. Hamilton, the center fielder, plays Yachty Air toward the right center. The runners lead at first and second. From the set, the pitch. Molina singles up the middle. Here's Berkman coming around third. Hamilton with the throw home, and it goes off Young's glove. Berkman scores the Cardinals' sixth run of the game, and the Red seventh inning. Big hit there, isn't it? And now I think if Pacal can follow up, there could be some dancing in the old town tonight. Big hit by Molina. What a season he's had, huh, John? Wow. Yadier with career highs, 305, 14 homers. Molina has just put together a sensational year. He had a career high and runs batted in as well. And I 
about Lance Burton? <laughs> this has been a collection of uh, what you might call one of the great team efforts of all time. Well, there's no question about that, Mike. Everybody has had something to do with the Cardinals rally to the wild card and then the run through the postseason. The pitch. And there's a strike on the outside corner to Rafael Percal. Molina with 14 homers, 65 runs batted in during the regular year. He has two RBIs tonight, giving him nine for this World Series. One strike on for Call, batting left handed, two on, one out, the pitch. For Call kicks out of the way of an inside breaking ball. It looked like a cut fastball down and in, and for Call was almost hit on the left knee or near the left ankle. Couldn't quite tell because I'm blocked up by the umpire, but I saw that left leg go kicking out of there. Well, this is a key inning. If the Cardinals can uh, get a couple more, it'd be uh, large, wouldn't it? One run in on the seventh. Here's Adams with the pitch. Outside and low. Two and one. The Rangers struck first tonight with two in the first inning. But the Cardinals had a two out, two run answer. They had help. As Matt Harrison walked Pujols and Berkman and Freeze drove them in with a double. Since then, the Cardinals have been in command. The pitch. There's a breaking ball strike. <laughs> a good pitch, wasn't it? Slider for strike two, two and two. Chris Carpenter tonight went six innings plus a batter, giving up six hits, two runs. He walked two, struck out five, and hit a batter, throwing 91 pitches. He's the pitcher of record on the upside, Matt Harrison on the downside. Six to two Cardinals with one out. The pitch to Fercal. Swing and a chopper foul over to the Cardinal dugout. It's nine RBIs now for Yadier Molina in this uh, nine in the World Series. World Series. <laughs> and he's been on base three times tonight. The Just only missed. Time he was <laughs> missed a home run by a few feet. And that was his first time up. He pinned Hamilton against the 400 foot mark and dead straight away center. A lead at second base for David Fries. Molina walks off to a good lead at first with Young playing behind him. How about one up that right center field alley, John? Green Acres out there. The pitch. Here's a foul by Fercal, two and two. That's wide open space in right center field. And there's the Green Acres team. <laughs> right on cue. They're listening over there. Mr. Douglas. Sam Drucker. I Mr. Still, Haney. I still have that telephone uh, poll for you. We'll get Ebb. <laughs> Climb up that pole and uh, hook it up. Or the Monroe brothers. The county agent, Hank Kimball. I watched too much TV when I was a kid. Two and two on Rafael Fercal. The runners lead, one out. The pitch by Adams. Swing and a slow roller toward the first baseman. Fielded by Young, flipping to Adams to get the out on Fercal. Freeze advances to third. Molina is on second. And here skip Schumacher. That was a good play. It made it look easy, but it's not. And here, we're going to have another pitching change. And now. here's Ron Washington, the Texas manager, on the way to the mound. This call to the bullpen is brought to you by Geico. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. To see how much you could save, call Geico at 1 800 947 Auto. 1 800 947 Auto or visit Geico.com. The Cardinals have runners at second and third, two outs in the bottom of the seventh, leading the Texas Rangers 6 to 2 in game seven of the World Series. We'll be back. Uh, 6 to 2 in the bottom of the seventh with two on. Uh, they can score these two, it'll go a long way. and. Uh, Bringing that trophy uh, back to St. Louis, weren't John? The Cardinals are after their 11th World Series championship in 2011. They won number 10 back in 06. The pitch, mm. a strike over at the belt. Gonzalez lives in Deer Park, Texas, 6'2, 215 pounds. He was born in Texas. 
thirty three years old the left hander works from the third base side of the rubber Schumacher takes a strike. Oh and two. I'd like to have this guy's traveling expenses wouldn't you. Frequent flyer miles. <laughs> he has bounced around. Gonzalez from the third base side of the rubber kicks pitches and it's strike three Schumacher knew it. The Cardinals picked up a run two hits a walk and left two on. They have stranded eight seven of those in scoring position. Seven hits over four and two thirds two home runs allowed three walks three strikeouts. The pitch right down the middle strike one to Josh Hamilton. The Cardinals lead by a slam. Now the pitch up and away a ball. Lance Lynn gave up back to back home runs to Adrian Beltre and Nelson Cruz in the seventh inning in last night's game. Only to have the Cardinals come back. The pitch. Strike at the knees. One and two on Hamilton a 93 mile an hour fastball. Keeps whistling it in there at the. Uh... That velocity and that position on the plate, he's going to do all right. Lynn with the overhead wind, and here it comes on one and two. Oh, he jammed him. Hamilton grounds to the second baseman. Hamilton jogs to first as Terrio throws him out. Boy, he got right in on his belt buckle with that pitch. A slow roller to second is out number one in the eighth. Let's pause here for station identifi identification at 10 o'clock central on the Cardinals Baseball Network. Cardinal Baseball is brought to you by the Flooring Industry Council of St. Louis, employing the highly trained install craftsmen. For a list of contractors, call 314 968 3522. Cardinal Baseball on KMOX HD, KEZK HD3, St. Louis. John Rooney along with Mike Shannon at Bush Stadium and here's a pitch high ball one on Michael Young. Twenty four year old right hander Lance Lynn. He's from Indiana calls Brownsburg Indiana home. The big right hander brings it in that's a strike. One and one Jim Jackson is our producer Matt Nations is working in the St. Louis studio. Kevin Wheeler will have our post game show tonight. Here's the 1 1 to Michael Young. That's a ball low. Yachty gets a new baseball. Tonight's game is brought to you by Budweiser. This year, Budweiser will donate up to $2 million to Folds of Honor, including $100 for every home run hit in Major League Baseball. Visit Facebook.com slash Budweiser. See how you can help support our nation's soldiers and veterans. The pitch is swung on, popped up. Albert Pujols in foul territory on the grass. He's there. He has it. Two outs in the eighth inning. And Adrian Beltre is walking slowly to the plate. Six runs on seven hits, one error, eight left on for the Birds tonight. The Rangers have two runs, six hits, no errors, and six left on as the Cardinals are leading Texas by a slam. Beltre has hit 310 this World Series, two homers, three RBIs. He takes strike one. Good baseball. Goes up there, and makes him throw a strike when you're down by four in the eighth inning. 0 and 1, two outs. Hitting rim, deep left center field for Beltre. They play him to hit the ball toward right center. He swings and misses. 93 on the gun rating. Lance Lynn works ahead of Beltre 0 and 2, and the fans stand at Bush Stadium. The Cardinals need four outs for their 11th World Series championship. The 0 2 pitch to Beltre. Swing and a miss. He's struck him out. One, two, three go the Rangers in the eighth. We're headed to the bottom of the eighth in St. Louis, Missouri, where the Cardinals lead game seven of the 2011 World Series, six to two over the Texas Rangers. In the meantime, the Cardinals bat. Nick Punto is batting for Lynn. Here's Punto. 
batting 231 for the World Series. He'll be up there right handed facing the lefty Michael Gonzalez. And Punto takes ball one as he backs away from home plate. Punto was with the Twins last year. The pitch high and outside. Six to two Cardinals. Now the pitch Punto takes a strike call two and one. Punto then Terrio and Alan Craig in the eighth. Hitting room deep left center field the pitch to Punto a swing and a fly ball right center Hamilton was playing in that direction moves over about 15 feet to his left and makes the catch. They have one out. Been telling you all season about Chevy and Chevy has built a great lineup of vehicles. They have one waiting for you first thing tomorrow at your Mid America Chevy dealer. Of course you want to keep your family safe and Chevy can help you out with five IIHS top safety picks numerous airbags plus the safety and security of OnStar with automatic crash response. Chevy the number one selling cars and trucks in the St. Louis area. Slow curve by Gonzalez bends in for a strike to Ryan Terrio. I want to thank all of our Cardinal sponsors this year for helping us bring you Cardinal baseball. Here's a swing and a miss. 0 and 2. Our flagship station KMOX and our radio network with over 120 stations in Cardinal Nation. Work closely with the Mid America Chevy dealers, Garden View Care Centers, with Germex. The flooring council and here's strike three on the outside corner Terry will knew it two strikeouts for Gonzalez in three batters face two outs in the eighth. But again thanks to all of our great Cardinal sponsors making it possible to follow the Cardinals from spring training right on through the regular season and the postseason. And in this final game of the World Series special appreciation to the Cardinal senior management. Bill DeWitt the third John Mosellac Dan Farrell Brad Wood Dan Van Brugigan. Joe Strome, Michael Hall, Vicki Bryan, Joe Abernathy, Mike Whittle, and uh, it goes on and on. Here's a strike in to Alan Craig, one strike with two outs. We get so much help up here, and uh, the entire Cardinal organization is uh, all for one. And here's a pitch taken upstairs, a fastball, one ball, one strike. Craig, his second time up tonight, hit a home run in the third. That put the Cardinals up 3 2, and they haven't looked back. The 1 1 Craig takes eyeball two. A lot of thanks to uh, all of the help that we've received from uh, the Cardinal organization this season. Three outs to go John. Craig waits for a 2 1 pitch. He scored a couple of runs tonight. Craig takes a curve for a strike two and two. Good pitch. Hey, this guy works hard, doesn't he? <laughs> he gives everything he can. Uh, you know, he comes off that mound, uh, he falls off. Uh, I mean, he burns a lot of energy. He might have hurt himself with that last pitch. The 2 2 pitch with two down. Long look in for the sign by Michael Gonzalez. Here it comes. Craig checks his swing and takes a ball low, three and two. After he uh, completes his toss, he falls all the way off the mound. I mean, completely off the mound, and they're going to go out and uh, talk to him now. I think he injured himself when he made that uh, second last pitch, so we're probably going to have another pitching change here. I think he injured himself the way he fell off that mound. They have a right hander loose in that bullpen. And that's Alexi Ogando. I think they're going to take him out. They are. They are. That's it for Gonzalez. The guys down in the uh, clubhouse, all the clubhouse gentlemen, went rip roaring right on down over to the visiting side. 
They are a special group of people. Three and two the count on Alan Craig. Ogando is ready and he brings it in. And Craig takes strike three. Well, that's all of them win a world championship, Mike. Mike Shannon has the play-by-play when we come back for the ninth. The Cardinals lead game seven of the World Series, six to two over the Rangers. Ninth inning, it will be Nelson Cruz to lead it off and Mott's first pitch of the night. Up and in, ball one. 97 mile an hour fastball. Uh, we'll see if Mott can control himself here. The Redbirds keep their bullpen busy. Rosinski's throwing down there. And the uh, 1 0 pitch outside, 2 0. Need to throw strikes in a situation like this. Cardinals. Leading by four, it's 2 6 0 oh, Texas, 6 7 1 Cardinal. And Cruz leading it off here in the ninth inning. Let's see if he makes him throw a strike. Strong right handed batter, 2 0 oh, pitch, headed home. Steve right call. He made him throw a strike. And he did a 95 mile an hour fastball. Descalzo in at third base now. And the pitch swinging a pop up. It goes into right center. Here comes the uh, Cardinal center fielder, and uh, that takes care of out number one. Jay uh, makes the catch. One down and two to go. Cardinal infield, Descalzo for Kyle, Punto, and the Pujols. And the pitch for Napoli. He was taking all the way, and it's right down center. Steve, that ball. This will be one of the greatest comebacks in the history of the baseball. And the Cardinals are coming from a ten and a half back to win the World Series if they can get with two more outs uh, the pitch is high outside one and one and uh, the last out in this business nowadays is one of the most difficult out number twenty seven they ought to put a golden uh, number up for that one. here's the one one Mike Nepple swinging a foul back to the screen and it's a one two count. He had a high fastball, but a little more than he can handle at 97 miles per. And he's a good fastball hitter. He's single, struck out, slide to right. Listen to this crowd 47,399 on their feet. The uh, electricity generated down here can run Amron for about a week with a pitch. Oh, a beauty, and he didn't call it. It's two and two. Wow. Well, that looked like a good pitch there. Woo. And it is a two two count. Napoli gets back in. As uh, the sign Mott does and here's the uh, offer. Swinging a ground ball to third. There's the scouter. He has it. He throws it. Two down and one to go. Downtown St. Louis is about to go bonkers here. season if the Cardinals can get the final out and it is David Murphy the left fielder at the plate. He's reached on a fielder's choice he's grounded out and he has doubled. Cardinals is leading it six to two. And this crowd is uh, and they are uh, putting out some energy at the moment. Murphy walks in Mott stands on top of the Mound has his sign and the first pitch to the left handed bat right down simple Steve right back. Mott has one save in this league. They 
play Murphy to hit the left. Infielders deep straight away. 0-1 delivery. Here she comes. Swinging a high drive into left. Back goes the Craig. He's at the track. He has it. And the Cup is a world champion for 2011. They came from nowhere to a astound the baseball world. They win this one 6-2, and they're world champions for 2011. And they mob one another on the infield. There's a pile in front of the mound. Then the infield is all over the place. What a season. What a comeback by this Cardinal team. They win their 11th World Series crown here before a sellout crowd of better than 47,000. One of the happiest moments in uh, Cardinal history here. And this is a phenomenal uh, organization and they have an unbelievable uh, history and just another uh, trophy added to it what a ball game what a season the Redbirds win this one uh, six to two and take the best of seven series four games to three game six will go down in the history uh, of World Series for certain and uh, the Redbirds are winning here six to two. You ought to see the confetti. This is the first time we've seen confetti. Uh, who ends up confetti? It looks like a, the Lindbergh parade here. <laughs> confetti flying everywhere as the Cardinals are world champions in uh, 2011. Listen to this crowd. We're going to have some fun. We've got a long night of uh, celebrating for you. Fireworks go off, confetti all over this place. Red, white, and blue confetti, and a big scene down on the uh, field. And uh, we'll go down to uh, Mike Claiborne. You know, to get here and be able to do this, the group of guys have this opportunity again. Amazing. You've been here before. How much this would mean to you? They're all special, man. You, this is what you dream about when you have this opportunity to get here. It is what it is. It's, uh, it's just an unbelievable feeling. Let's go back to that one meeting in the clubhouse to get these guys on the right track. What was said and how important do you think that one meeting was in your career? Well, yeah, I mean, it, it is. You know, we, 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 uh, we had some things that needed to be talked about. It worked out. I'm just happy for our guys, man. I'm happy for our guys. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, we're going to move around. We're going to grab a couple other people here. Skip Schumacher, I told you I was going to talk to you one more time this year. Congratulations. You're a world champion. Feels amazing. I mean, this is, this is what it's all about. I can't believe it. I mean, I really can't believe it. 